Hey there guys. I know I promised I would stop making videos with recording this with this camera because it sucks with close-up uh, or um, showing screens. But I promised I would make a video about this, so I'm not going to let you down. And hopefully this will just turn out alright. I'll adjust the sharpness and hopefully it'll show up alright. So anyway, this is an iPod Touch second generation running um, iPhone OS 4.0. I will show you that. And there we go. Running 4.0, it's running beta 2, the second beta version. Let's see if we can get it better. So as you can see, it is running 4.0. Um, now let's see what I can show you. Now first off, I'd like to tell you, you can install it in Windows. I've tried two times now with both betas, even after it already had beta 1 4.0, and it still wouldn't install. So if you're running Windows, even if you are a developer or have your UID or UDID added by a developer, you still can't install for Windows. So don't try. Well, you, you might be able to find a way around it. Uh, I had to use VMware and use a Mac, um, PC, Mac machine um, VMware file, and I was able to restore to 4.0, and I got a developer to add my UDID. So that's how I was able to install it. But anyway, I guess I'll show you some of the features. First thing I'd like to tell you about is one problem I've had is some programs crashing. Uh, now that may be fixed in this version. I'm not really sure. I haven't really haven't tried it out too much. The second thing I'm going to show you is folders. So basically, we can take one thing and drop it over another. Like I'll drop it over BJive. It'll create a folder. And then you can name the folder. As you can see, it says Lifestyle. And you can change the name if you want, but I won't. I'll just leave it like that. So then it's on your home screen. And when you click on it, it just opens up a little thing where you can see the files in it, which is pretty nice. Um, it's not bad at all. They did a pretty good job implementing that. Uh, now we're going to check out the settings. It looks a bit different than what it used to look like. Uh, they've moved stuff around. Um, oh, another cool thing is mail. Now they have a unified mailbox, so if you have a bunch of different emails, uh, they can all be in one uh, mailbox and you can see them all. Um, I can't show you that because I only have one account added here. It's pretty nice. It'll show you your new and red emails from all of the accounts. Now, um, there is one thing that I've had a problem with. Uh, now, as you know, the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2nd generation will not get all the features of 4.0. Like, I can't use multitasking. And uh, also, a thing that I haven't been able to use is changing the background. Um, you were supposed to be able to see, as you can see, it looks different, changing your wallpaper. But I w should be able to change the wallpaper of back screen, and I haven't been able to do that. Now, as you can see, I'll change it to this rose or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is. And I'll hit set. It doesn't ask me what I want to set it to. So as you can see, it didn't change the background, but just like before, it changed the background on here. Which uh, I think it might be a bug. They might fix that in the later releases. We're not, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, multitasking does not work on here, and it won't work on the 3G iPhone. And uh, another cool thing they've added is local notifications, so that'll save you some battery life, and uh, hopefully it will um, make more applications use push. Um, let's see if I can tell you anything else. Oh, I should tell you that... Um, the first generation iPhone will not be getting 4.0. Uh, Steve Jobs sent an email out saying that to someone who asked. So that's kind of disappointing. Hopefully they'll have an update for the iPhone first generation. Um, and uh, they have jailbroken 4.0 beta already. Uh, Muscle Nerd posted a jailbreak for it. Um, but it's only for... Uh, the 3G iPhone. He hasn't posted a new one for 
any of the iPod Touches or the 3GS. So just wait until the final comes out. I'm actually getting ready to uh, restore back to 3.1.3 because I kind of need the jailbreak, and I'm really not too impressed with 4.0 on the um, iPhone or iPod Touch second generation. Maybe when it comes out, there'll be some more features, but for now, it's not really too impressive to me. Um, I guess if I had a iPhone 3GS or um, an iPod Touch third generation, I'd be more impressed. But right now, no. But um, hopefully they'll get that all the problems fixed and bring it out. So I hope this video helps you out, and I hope you rate it a thumbs up and um, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and give me some suggestions on what you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks for watching, as always.